Welcome to Cita Tech. Here's an iPhone 6 tip for you. I'm going to show you how to enable assistive touch. We're going to come into our settings, we're going to come into general, and then we're going to come down to accessibility. Swipe down on the screen and then I have assistive touch. This is going to allow me to actually use a virtual home button and use some gestures on my device. Tap this on and you're going to notice this little button down here on the screen. If I tap on that, it gives me some options that I can use on my device. I can quickly access my favorites, invoke Siri, go home, access control center, do my functions on my device, and even do notification center. So if I tap home, it brings us home, and it kind of goes back into its little app drawer. Tap on it again, it's going to open it back up, and now let's go into the device. You see I can lock my screen, rotate it, mute it, unmute it, tap on more, there's even more where I can shake it, do a screenshot, do multitasking, even do some gestures. So this is really cool. This little assistive touch is quite useful if you have a hard time reaching the top of the screen. Maybe your home screen button physically is broken and you need to use it this way. It's really cool. This is just accessing a lot of different functions on my device without actually having to do anything. So I'm just tapping control center and control center sliding up. I'm tapping notification center, notifications coming down. This is really neat. It helps me get things done quicker without actually having to do things. And the way that I did that, we'll come back into our settings and here's assistive touch and our accessibility. And if I slide this off, you notice it's going to go away. Now there are some gestures. If I can create a new gesture, I can tap or swipe up on the screen to do a new gesture. So if I wanted to make this a gesture, I could, and then the assistive touch is gonna learn it, and I can actually save it to something. So if I tap save, we can give this gesture a name, and then I can actually have it do that option on the screen as if it was my physical finger touching the screen. So that is how you use the assistive touch option on your iPhone. And for more iPhone tips, be sure and visit stateoftech.net.